Hey, this is Kevin from Breakdance, and in this video, we're going to discuss how to use the pulse dot element to bring attention to areas on your website. A common use case for the pulse dot element may be to attract users to a button or other type of interaction on your website. We're going to show how to do this by recreating this book your trip button using a wrapper link element with a pulse dot. I've already created the wrapper link element, so I'm going to unhide this right now. And we can see that the element pretty much looks the same. It's just a little bit wider and contains a wrapper link with some text. So now let's go ahead and add our pulse dot element. We'll add that to the wrapper link and we can select the wrapper link and add some gap. And there we go. We have a basic pulse dot button working to bring attention to our button. We could delete this other button and now view it on the front end. And as we go down, we now see this button that shows us here's something to do. Going back to the pulse dot, we can further customize this. We can increase the size. We can increase the radius. We can increase the scale of the pulse. And so now the pulse is going outside the button. We can change our duration to make it shorter or longer as we need to. And of course, we can change the color. Let's go ahead and save and view this on the front end. So now we have a much bigger pulse dot that brings more attention to the button and lets the users know, oh, here's something I should do. Let's now go back to our design and we're going to go back to having our button on the page. This time I'm going to add the pulse dot to this button itself instead of using a wrapper link. But to do that, I'm going to add a div, throw the button in there. And now we're going to add a pulse dot. The next thing we're going to do in this case is we're actually going to change the pulse dots layout. So we're going to go to advanced wrapper layout, advanced, and then position. And we're going to set the position to absolute. With absolute position, we can now move the pulse dot around within the div to get it to display exactly as we wish. So let's go ahead and do that now. We'll set the right to 0.5 rem. Let's set the top to auto and the bottom to auto. And then on the div itself, we're going to go to layout and center everything. So now our pulse dot is centered within the div and it's actually sitting on top of the button, but users can still use the button as they wish. So let's go ahead and save that, view it on the front end. So we now have a button here that users can click and interact with. One thing you might notice with this approach is that the button is not clickable right here. So I can click the button anywhere else, but on the actual pulse dot, I can't click that. We can easily fix this by selecting the pulse dot and in our custom CSS, we can do pointer events, none and save that. Now let's refresh the page. So now the button is fully clickable and we don't have to worry about the pulse dot getting in the way. These are just two quick examples on how to use the pulse dot element. You can use it beyond buttons or beyond links. Maybe you want to bring attention to a map or an image. However you want to use that pulse dot element is completely up to you.